Let's talk about the four phases of the menstrual cycle in relation to neurodivergent conditions as well as some mental health conditions. First phase is menstruation. This will start on day one and this is when you have a full bleed, not just spotting. And it will go for about roughly four to five days. During this time, our estrogen and progesterone are at an all time low. So motivation is likely to be lower. We often feel tired and foggy headed as well. And it can be a time where our ADHD or our ASD symptoms, as well as maybe sensitivity or depressive symptoms are more likely to be higher. The second phase is the follicular phase, and this is where our estrogen is rising. So we actually might feel more motivated, have more energy, be starting to think clearer. We might find that our ADHD or ASD symptoms are sort of maybe a bit dampened. And the same for mental health conditions. We actually might be finding that we're sort of able to push past things a little bit during this short window. The follicular phase is from around day six after your period finishes uh, and goes to about day 14, which takes us to the third phase, ovulation. Now ovulation, estrogen and testosterone as well are at their peak. And so for a lot of us, we might actually feel like this is our best time. We'll get moments of clarity. We'll have sort of all of those good things I was just talking about in the follicular phase, but even more so. However, some people also find that during ovulation, they might get overstimulated. Ovulation just tips things over a little bit too much. The fourth phase is the luteal phase. The luteal phase happens immediately after ovulation stops. So that could be around day 15, day 16, onwards until you get your period again. It's actually quite a long phase. And unfortunately, this phase is where we often will find that our symptoms are more exacerbated. Now, this is also where misdiagnosis can happen because it seems like there's a, some sort of cycle going on. ADHD, one of the criteria is around consistency, same for ASD, where with mood disorders, it's often more cyclical. So misdiagnosis is quite common and understanding how to track your cycle can be really important here. So what I've done is I've created an executive function symptoms tracker that tracks your executive function alongside your menstrual cycle. I'm Lauren, I'm a neurodivergent nutritionist, scientist and personal trainer and I work with women and AFABs to help boost energy, focus and improve emotional regulation. So while seeing your GP and psychiatrist and specialists are really important for overall health, what I've found is there are quite a lot of gaps in what's being addressed when it comes to women and AFABs in particular and our neurodivergent health and our mental health as well. I've seen exam, cheers.